Welcome to Genic. So this is the question. So what is that question? In a certain lossy medium, an EM wave travels for a distance of 20 meters where its amplitude decays to 1 by E times its initial value. If the phase for the same period is 30 degrees, then the propagation constant is observe this see it is an EM wave given observe this it is an EM wave given so we have to find the propagation constant the phase is given and what is the what, what he has asked in a certain lossy medium it is a lossy medium it is given okay an EM wave travels for a distance of 20 meters where its amplitude decays to 1 by e times of, of its initial value if the phase for the same period is 30 degrees then the propagation constant is we have to find the propagation constant so before that we have to know what is the propagation constant expression okay now what is the propagation constant expression the propagation constant expression is is what gamma equals to root over j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon it is what it is generally it is a complex value okay but what is this it is a complex value j omega mu plus sigma plus j omega epsilon understand so now what is the em wave equations now the em wave equations e of z comma T. Let us suppose assume Z traveling wave. That means the propagation in Z direction. Assume a Z traveled wave. Okay. Means positive Z traveled wave. I am taking this one. Okay. E of Z comma T can be written as what? E naught E power E naught E power J omega t minus e naught e power minus alpha z okay alpha z into because it is complex right because it is a complex value i can write this one as what alpha plus j beta because it is what it is generally complex okay so now by putting this in the em wave equations okay the em the final em wave equation will be e of z comma t is equal to e naught e power alpha z okay into e power j omega t minus beta z it is directed in ax okay similarly you will get the magnetic field E h of z comma t will be equal to h naught into e power minus alpha z e power j omega t minus beta z it is a y okay so these two are must be remembered forever these two equations these two equations are called as the em wave equations these two equations are called as the em wave equations one is electric field one is magnetic field okay these are harmonic these are harmonics see what are the harmonic this e power j omega t into e power minus j beta z these are all called as the harmonics okay here beta is called as the phase shift constant per unit length okay omega is called as the phase shift constant per unit time you have to remember this equation okay so we know how we came this so from the maxwell's equations only for the from the time varying fields okay we cannot derive to this okay we cannot derive all these things okay because time is very less so we have to remember this equation okay so in this what is this equation it is representing this portion is representing amplitude this portion is representing amplitude and this person is representing the harmonic it is amplitude 
it is harmonic and what about this term this term is called as the phase term it is called as phase term it is e power j theta this theta is called as phase okay where theta is equals to beta z omega t minus beta z that means the phase is equals to omega t minus beta z that means what theta is proportional to omega you have to note the theta is proportional to omega and theta is proportional to beta so from this what is omega omega is equals to what is omega equals to from this theta is equals to omega t from this what is omega equals to theta by t theta by t if we t means what the time phase per time i can also write for 2 pi phase let us suppose the time period omega equals to 2 pi by t so from this also theta can be written as beta z what is the meaning of this one is the phase of this em wave the phase of the em wave is linearly proportional to the variable what is the variable one is frequency and one is the sorry this is z one is frequency and one is the distance sorry yeah you can also write this see observe this the theta proportional to t and theta proportional to z you can also write any of the ways okay so theta proportional to t and time and space i am taking time and space okay theta proportional to t and theta proportional to z where theta is equals to omega t okay and theta is equals to beta z so from this what is beta the beta is called as theta by z this is equals to 2 pi by lambda where z represents the distance here z is the distance traveled by the wave here distance traveled by the wave from the source okay so now it is lambda is what wavelength so these are the very very important relations and this is also now we know what is omega what is beta beta is the phase shift constant per the unit distance it is the phase shift constant per the unit time omega t is the phase constant per the unit time beta is the phase constant per the what unit length okay now what we have to find we have to in this question we have to find the propagation constant so in this propagation constant see observe this question what are the unknown value here the unknown value here is alpha we got e naught means it is a constant value okay alpha what is alpha alpha is called as the what happens attenuation constant it is called as the attenuation constant what are the units the units are per meter or decibels per meter or nepers per meter it is called as the attenuation constant alpha is called as the attenuation constant beta is called as the phase constant why why it is attenuation constant means see as z increases what happens to the amplitude already i said this portion is called as the amplitude so as z increases what happens there is no change this term even though the z increases the magnitude will be what will not be varied even though the z increases the magnitude will not be varied because e power j term it will not this term will not affect the magnitude only this term will affect the magnitude okay so now if z is equals to 0 what happens it will be h naught it will be e naught the magnitude will be initial value z means z equals to 0 means what is the amplitude e naught this e naught is called as the initial value so here e naught is called as the initial value of amplitude of the wave so from the source at the source z equals to 0 means at the source at the source suppose if it is moving in z direction what happens 
if moving in z direction as z increases automatically the amplitude will get decreased in exponentially so with which rate alpha rate it will decay at a rate of alpha okay so that's why it is called as the attenuation constant so this is the data is enough now come to this so we have to find the alpha and beta for this if you find the alpha and beta you will get the propagation constant because this is the propagation constant okay so now so what he has given a certain lossy medium lossy medium means the attenuation is existing lossy medium means alpha is not equals to zero you have to note that this is a lossy medium it is a lossy medium travels for a distance of 20 meters so it travels for a distance of 20 meters z is equals to 20 meters why i am writing z equals to 20 meters here z is what distance traveled by the wave so if it travels for 20 meters it amplitude decays to which amplitude the emf's amplitude decays to 1 by e times of its initial value okay what is initial value e naught is the initial value okay so its amplitude which amplitude em waves amplitude what is the em waves amplitude so this is the em waves amplitude this or this you can take anything okay so at z equals to 10 meters what happens what happens what is the amplitude amplitude is e naught e power minus alpha into 20 at z equals to 10 meters this amplitude will become what 1 by e times of its initial value 1 by what is initial value this is e naught initial value 1 by e times means this one so this is the thing so from this you can easily find the alpha value so e power minus alpha 20 is equals to e power minus 1 so from this alpha into 20 is equals to 1 so from this alpha is equals to 1 by 20 meter inverse over completed now alpha we got then what about the then what about the next data beta value so we have to find the propagation constant alpha uh, sorry this is what this is alpha plus j beta alpha plus j beta okay gamma is equals to alpha plus j beta we correct this okay now observe this this is alpha is equals to 1 by 20 meter inverse understand so now now see observe this what is beta beta is equals to what phase shift constant phase bar distance theta by z theta by z or you can also write 2 pi by lambda so in the question if the phase for the same period is 30 degree so that means same period means what for this 20 meters it is attaining a phase of 30 degrees so beta is equals to 30 degrees divided by 20 so i can write this 30 as pi divided by pi divided by 6 pi by 6 into 20 this will be pi divided by 120 pi divided by 120 so now what is alpha gamma propagation constant alpha plus 1 by 20 plus pi divided by 120 meter inverse okay so this is the final answer okay so like this we have to approach you have to notice that this is the heart of this em wave if you don't know this and it will be very difficult for you it will be very difficult for you to understand the concept okay so that means the em wave is a function of harmonic and amplitude harmonic means what harmonics means what phase having some amplitude 
okay so this is the thing it is oscillatory in nature so as it is moving from the source what happens as it is moving from the source this direction or this direction automatically the wave amplitudes will be decaying exponentially with what rate alpha rate at this rate it they will decrease okay like this thank you